Good afternoon. My name is Bill Thornton and I'm known as SoCal Saver and this is my uh, number six talk. And today I'm going to be talking about Hard Rock Cafes and the items within them. I, during my uh, life I used to always take like one to two trips a year and when planning each trip I always uh, tried to see if there was any Hard Rock Cafes <clears throat> along the route and uh, try to plan maybe a lunch or a dinner in them as I went along. <clears throat> as you can see up in the top corner up there I uh, started collecting some hats. I have 30 hats. That doesn't mean I've been to every one of the 30 hat cafes because some of my friends started picking them up on their trips and uh, giving them to me. What you see up there in the red one is the uh, Paris. The middle one is Amsterdam and the other one is uh, San Antonio. I just put them up. I didn't pick them for any particular reason. <clears throat> the, uh, just for the color variance and the difference in the type of hats that there are. You know, I don't know, maybe San Antonio because I, when I was growing up when I was a youngster, I was a big, when I was young, I was a big Davy Crockett fan. And so I used to watch all of the shows about him and I always wanted to see the Alamo. <clears throat> I have seen it a couple times now. First time was when I was in basic training and we had a Sunday off. And the last was a couple years ago when uh, a friend of mine and I made a trip or on a trip throughout this, the Midwest and uh, the South. <clears throat> Anyways, that's a... Uh, what the going like I said I have 30 hats and uh, I you uh, know some people have asked me what do I uh, what's my favorite meal in in those places and I guess if I had to ch really choose one I would think they're bacon cheeseburgers I've always liked them I thought that they were top on top on my uh, list and uh, you know that's probably what I just about order all the time. Next in my collection, as you can see, are Hard Rock Tall Shot Glasses. I put a couple different ones up today to show you the variants in them. Uh, the ones on the end are the uh, what I would call the classic uh, design. And the ones in the middle are uh, the, the decorator designs. <clears throat> and I, if I can remember which ones they are, I got up there. I got, on the ends I got Paris and Niagara Falls. And in the middle is uh, Las Vegas and Nashville. And I have been to those and along with 25 others. There's 26 glasses in my collection, but 25, only 25 I have been to. Uh, and they've been all over the, the country and around in various spots in the world. I'll get to in a couple mornings. So uh, that was another part of this collection of hard rock. I got some hard rock shirts. Can't see them. And I got some, a lot of other hard rock hats in there. So I didn't wear one today. Just... I was going to, but I just forgot. I was going to try to stay with the theme if I could. Uh, the uh, So now I'm going to just uh, show you a little bit. I'm going to throw a little bit of my travel in here. Travel is going to be on other videos that I'll talk about. But I'll throw in a little bit of travel for uh, uh, as far as the Hard Rock goes. <clears throat> you see it up there? That's the Hard Rock Cafe in Memphis. Although it's probably not my favorite Hard Rock Cafe, Memphis, I've been to three times, is my, and this is on Beale Street, the Hard Rock, and Memphis is my favorite town when it comes to live music. All up and down Beale Street, every night walking up and down, hitting the pubs, hitting all, all they all have live bands going on in them, and uh, it's pretty cool, and uh, I've been there, like I said, three times. Yeah, one of my Bad tributes is almost got in a fight the last time I was down there, and I was in my 60s, you know, and that was in the Jerry Lee Lewis bar, and so, uh, you know, that uh, stands out in my mind as being something stupid as with a German, too, you know, crazy, crazy night. Okay, next, what you're looking at there is the Hard Rock Cafe in Toronto, Canada. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, back in 2010, when I was back visiting Buffalo, my granddaughter Nicole and her friend Emily and I went up to <clears throat> Toronto that day for two purposes. The, uh, we had lunch in the Hard Rock Cafe and after that we went over to the Hockey Hall of Fame and uh, went through that. I always wanted to see that and uh, that was pretty cool because you know most people know I'm a big hockey fan and uh, if uh, of anything, uh, any sport, that's probably my favorite. There's Cancun, 
that's uh, the second version of the Hard Rock in Cancun. I've been to two of them. The first one got wiped out by Hurricane Emily in, uh, I forget what, 2005, I believe it was. And uh, right after I got out of there, I got out of there just in time. But anyway, that's cool. The last time I was down there was 2007. That was with Michelle and Davina. And we went down here and had lunch. And uh, then hit the, walked around the town looking at some of the shops and, and things like that. Uh, pretty cool downtown area that I like. A lot of people are scared of it at night, but not me. You know, I always go to the dark places. Okay, and then uh, this is across the street view. It's kind of hard to see, but this is the Hard Rock in Paris. Uh, Davina and I went to uh, Europe in 2005. Michelle was supposed to be joining us, but she had some medical issues that prohibited her from traveling at that time. And so on our second day in Paris, of our 10 days in Europe, Davina and I went over to the Hard Rock uh, and had lunch that day. Right down the street from the real, original Moulin Rouge place. But I'll cover Moulin Rouge when I do talk about some of my travels. The, uh, so that, and that, that was a pretty nice thing on my uh, bucket list. And then uh, next, but not least, is probably my favorite. Of all the hard rocks I've been at, this is in Amsterdam. And as you can see, it's built right on the canal. We said we were able to get one of the window seats, and you're able to watch people watch, looking at people going up and down the canal, and people walking the streets, and actually people playing chess with big pieces in the, in the, uh, right outside of it. And that. But I'll get to that in my travels about Amsterdam, too. But uh, <clears throat> I don't want to bore you too much with uh, all this hard rock stuff today. So I'm just going to cut, cut this one a little short and say thank you for watching. You know, if you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button, hit the like bell, tell your friends about it. Let's build this channel up again. Let's make it our channel and not only my channel. And if you, you know, anything you'd like me to talk about, send me a text or put it in the remarks section. I'll always check the remarks. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe.